Let's take a look at the number of valence electrons for scandium, that's SC. So the periodic table is arranged, it's kind of nice. Group one, all of these have one valence electron. Group two, they have two. We skip the transition metals, they're a bit complicated. Group 13, sometimes called 3A, that has three, and so on. Scandium is a transition metal, it's right here. So to figure out the number of valence electrons for scandium, we first need the electron configuration. So scandium has 21 electrons, so these are distributed here in our electron configuration. What might be helpful is if we take the electron configuration for argon, that's the noble gas before scandium, so it has 18 electrons, so here's argon. We can replace that and have a condensed notation like this. Let's move this over a little bit. So this is the condensed notation for scandium. For transition metals, one definition of the valence electrons for transition metals, it says that transition metals, their valence electrons are the electrons that reside outside the noble gas core. This is the noble gas core. So for scandium, we can say that there are three valence electrons. And that kind of makes sense because scandium most often forms ions that have a three plus ionic charge. They lose three electrons. So based on our definition and what we see when scandium forms ions, we can say that scandium, SC here, has three valence electrons. This is Dr. B with the number of valence electrons for scandium. Thanks for watching.